Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can turn a mid-journey AI image into a 3D meta human using chat avatar. So a couple of months ago, I did cover chat avatar, but that was text to 3D model. But now I got access to the beta, which is image to 3D models. So you don't have to actually use mid-journey AI image. It works with any pictures that you have, but I'm going to be using mid-journey because obviously it's like the hot topic right now. First thing I'm going to do is go to hyperhuman.demos.com. Now the chat avatar, like I said, this is the text right here. Describe the model you want to generate. We're not going to be doing that. So if I go to the top right corner right here, you're going to see this little icon. It's very, very easy to miss, but it's right here. If you want to get access, go ahead and contact them. They are in beta right now, so it's not available for everyone. Here is the actual image to 3D model, and we're going to go ahead and go to Discord where I have Midjourney AI. So one of the things that's really hard to do is generating Filipino metahumans. I am Filipino, and I don't see a lot of Filipino metahumans. And, and this method is actually the best way for me to generate Filipino metahumans, which is pretty freaking cool so here we go i'm gonna say realistic extreme close-up of the face and then we're gonna do front lighting now you can mess around with your prompt but this is what we're gonna go with but basically what we want is we want a bald character we don't want any hair messing up the freaking solve or anything like that and we want it to be front lit now i did try to put butterfly lighting in here but Midjourney just didn't understand that so all right so here it is i think i'm gonna go with this one Although this one could work also. So let me go with the left one. I'm going to upscale one. So it goes one, two, three, four. Let's go into upscale that thing. And I'm going to open this in our browser. Because what we're going to do is we're going to right click, save image as. And let's go back to chat avatar. Okay, so next what we're going to do is just upload that image. Right here. So I'm going to upload that. So this is a pretty close shot. So I'm going to say telephoto and just generate. Okay, so here is our image. The left side is our original photo, and then the right side is our actual 3D model. Now, again, this is super cool because, honestly, for me, I've been using MetaHuman for a while, and I can recognize MetaHumans from a mile away. And this method right here, I don't necessarily use the skin textures from Demos Chat Avatar, but what I mainly use it for is getting some nice face shape because I am not a model or whatsoever and this is the best and fastest way on how you can get some unique meta humans face because again I can recognize meta humans pretty quickly now so comparing this 3d model right here you're gonna see that it did a pretty good job on the nose now with Filipinos we have this nose like you can tell uh somebody's a Filipino by just looking at their nose so that got it pretty well I mean the lip is a little bit off, but man, overall, even the little mole right here, it captured it. You can see it right there. I mean, actually, I have that mole right here on my left face. That's that's pretty cool. That's pretty spot on how my journey uh, was able to um, actually generate that. So here it is. Here's the model. And obviously, what we're going to do now is we're going to pack this. So I'm going to say pack. Now, and I'm just going to select the 2K because, again, I'm not using the textures from this. I'm going to say next. And you can do a meta human straight out, but I'm going to do a default because the default comes with eyes and teeth you're going to need this in mesh to meta human and right here is actually not dollars this is just demos dollars so we can look that up and see how much that is so total we're going to pay 30 demos dollars as far as i know that's not dollars i could be wrong so here we go that's going to do its thing and i'm just going to exit out of that and i'm going to go to mine right here and you're going to see that our model is now generated right here it's pretty freaking fast now i've used a text to avatar before and this is insanely fast so here's the 3d model right here from our image and now i'm just going to download this all right so here's the actual folder we have a geometry file uh the png and we have the video right here if i double click right here you're gonna see we have some blend files we have some obj and we have some textures which is perfect so what we're gonna do next is open up blender now if you don't know blender is free so you can go ahead and download it i'm gonna delete this right here and then go to file import and we're gonna import an obj and then i'm gonna go to that download folder and then what we're going to select is the additional component neutral. Import that OBJ. I'm going to zoom out. And then next, what I'll do is select that mesh, go to edit mode, right click, separate by material. And this is going to separate everything. And then I'm going to go back to object mode. And on the right side, we're going to be deleting some mesh here because we only need the head and eyeballs. So... If I click on this and go to the material, you're going to see what it is. We got teeth fluid, don't need it. Face, we will need that. Back head, we will need that. Teeth, I don't need it. 
we need the eyeballs, all right? So everything else I can actually delete, including the light. So we have the mesh, so we have the face, the back head, and then the eyeballs, all right? So what I'll do next is I'll select it all, Control J, and that's gonna pretty much combine everything into one. And then what I will do is I'll go to the left, and I'm just gonna move this up a little bit. Go to W, or press that icon, move it up like that, and, we're just gonna, and then press Control A, all transforms, we'll just reset the transform. And this is actually ready to go, so export, FBX, and I'm just gonna put it in that original download file, and I'm just gonna say Filipino one. I don't have any animation, I don't have any bones. For the geometry, I'm gonna say face, and then export that. Now, once that's exporting, I'm gonna open up Unreal Engine 5, which I actually have open here already. And we're gonna create a new folder here. This is 5.2, by the way. And I'm gonna save Filipina, double click that. And now I'm gonna go to that folder. And as you can see right here, we have the Filipino one. Now in Unreal Engine 5.2, just to make sure we have everything right, I'm gonna go to edit, plugins. We actually need the MetaHuman plugin in this one. As you can see, it's already on, so that's good to go. That's the only prereqs that you're going to need. And then we can drag and drop our Filipina FBX in there. Since I already combined the meshes, I don't have to mess with combined mesh here. I should be able to just import this and it should be good to go. All right, so here is our character. We have the mesh. We have the left eyeball, back head, face, and right eyeball. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna import some textures in. So I'm gonna go back in here and we just need to diffuse. And additionally, I did download an eye texture from iClone. You can use whatever eyeball you have, or honestly, if you just want to change the color, that's fine. So you don't have to have an eye texture, but it's just going to make it a lot easier for the MetaHuman uh, identity to actually recognize the face with the eyeball on. And I'll show you that in a second. So what I'll do is I will just go to the left eyeball and I'll delete this, kind of make this minimize it a little bit. I'll just drag and drop this here, apply and save. And then for the actual diffuse for the face, I'll do the same thing. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna double click our mesh and I'm going to select the back head right here. And then you see we have the eyeball right there. We can just use the same eyeball on the other one. And now we should have a face. And if I go to unlit, that looks pretty good. And now we have the mesh and now we're ready to create a MetaHuman from it. All right, so I'll go right click MetaHuman Animator MetaHuman Identity. Now I'll just say Filipino Ones. Double click this, and it's going to log you in. Make this bigger. We're gonna go to Add, and then we're gonna go, and then we're gonna click Create Component from Mesh. And we're gonna go with Filipino One. All right. So here is our character now, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say Promote Frame. Press OK, and we're gonna say Track Markers. Now, this is the reason why I put the actual eyeball textures on there, because now we just helped out MetaHuman Identity to actually map out where the eyeballs are. So with that being said, the MetaHuman creator right now is bugged on the eyes and eyelids and eyebrows and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff poking through. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna have this kind of like solved, but I'm not gonna use this shape right here. I'm gonna use something else in the MetaHuman creator. Everything is tracked now, everything is good to go. If you want to finesse that, you're fine. And then once you're done, just click on MetaHuman Identity Solve right here. And then what we're going to do next is go to Body, and we're going to select a body type and go to Mesh MetaHuman. Now I'm going to need a full MetaHuman out of this, so I'll click the second one. This is going to do its thing. So I'll go ahead and log in the MetaHuman Creator, and it says right here, it's good to go. Okay, so here is our character now, Filipino one. I'll just say Edit, and I'll press Say Stop. And then we're gonna wait for this to compile shaders. All right, so what we'll do now is we're gonna go to the custom mesh. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce that. All right, because it is a little bit buggy. And on the actual eyelids, I'm also gonna reduce that influence. So that means that I'm not gonna be using the MetaHuman Identity's eyes and eyelids uh, with this right here. Looks pretty good, so we're gonna keep that. I mean, if I run into any issues later, I can always just redo it but we're gonna leave it as is. All right, so what's cool about this method is, again, you can go close to your source image or you can finesse it and create another human being or individual. So totally up to you. But with this video right here, I'm just gonna create something that's unique, you know, not like the 50 templates. And then I'll click on Enable Editing. Unlock Only is okay. And if I go to Skin right here, I'm gonna assign a new skin. And again, we're gonna do like a Filipina kind of skin tone. And as you can see right there, I mean, it's incredible. You know, like now we actually have a 
Filipino looking meta human, which is super cool. We got the nose and everything, which is amazing. I mean, look at this. That's so crazy. And again, from somebody who doesn't know how to model faces, in just a couple of clicks, couple of minutes, we were able to generate this. And from here, you know, I can just go choose a texture. And then it looks kind of weird right now because she doesn't have hair. But let's see if I can find a Filipina hair-ish right here. Okay, let's do some eyes for the makeup. That's cool, right? Blush. Okay. This is, this is so crazy. And I'll and I'll just change maybe the eyebrows or something like that. The eyelashes will just kind of make it a lot. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. That's how you can turn a mid-journey AI image into a character 3D meta human. Again, you don't have to use a mid-journey AI image. You can use your own image or your crush's image from high school that you can pull from the yearbook. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see y'all later. Peace out.